Before we go, I have to bring you some sad news. The journalist Mustafa Kakuti has died. He was 77. Mustafa was a friend to all of us here at Dateline. He appeared on the program for many years and uh, he was a friend to journalists around the world. He was born in Syria. He spent much of his professional career interpreting and explaining the complexities of Arab society to us all and we will miss him. Mustafa Kakuti. في ذمة الله نحتسب الأخ العزيز مصطفى كركوتي أبو أحمد وندعوه سبحانه وتعالى أن يتغمد الفقيد برحمته ومغفرته ورضوانه وأن يسكنه في سيح جناته وأن يلهم أفراد أسرته وأصدقائه وزملائه الصبر والسلوان إننا قد نتألم لوفاة الفقيد العزيز ويحز في نفوسنا فراغه فإنما نتذكر بكل المحب والوفاء صفاته الحميدة وعلاقاته الطيبة مع الجميع بل وكذلك إخلاصه وجديته في كل ما كان يقوم به إنه كان في كل ذلك نعم الأخ ونعم الصديق ونعم الزميل لكل من التغى أو عرفه أو عمل معه There's a rare breed of people who so love the company of others and who are so at ease with all kinds of different people. And Mustafa was one of those rare and lovely people. Whenever we went round to visit, he would welcome us into the house with his big hands as if he was welcoming us right into the very heart of his family. He had a hospitality of the mind as well. And he was always interested in other people's ideas, was always willing to talk about things. And he was always open. And I don't know how he did that and made everybody feel special, even in a crowd of other people. I will miss him so much. He was the best of men. Uh, the evenings and uh, afternoons that we spent around your house were magic. There was a wonderful warmth and joy, really, and that came radiated out of Mustafa. And so I'm really so sorry that he's gone, and condolences. I first met Mustafa on the morning of April the 30th, 1980, when we were both at the Iranian embassy in London, seeking permission to travel to Iran. Suddenly, the embassy was taken over by six gunmen. From the beginning, Mustafa was pivotal in negotiations within the embassy, seeking to get us all safely released. He was the only one who really understood what was going on in the embassy. He spoke Arabic, he spoke Farsi, and of course he spoke English, and was able to understand all the politics and all the intrigue of what was happening. And towards the end of the siege, he was released. Again, this was a pivotal point, and the very next day, the terrorists started to shoot hostages, and the British government authorized the SAS to rescue us all. Mustafa and I became very close friends, and we did a lot of media work together. He was a true friend and a true comrade, and I will miss him greatly. To have seen Mustafa three times in the last two weeks before he passed away. He was, as usual, intelligent, informative, and very interesting to listen to. And he was a fantastic listener. Mustafa is full of morals and kind uh, thinking. Uh, we miss you, Mustafa. Mustafa was exceptional with his rare mix of deep thinking, diverse thinking, and most importantly, rational thinking. He interacted and knew almost everyone who mattered in the Middle East and in Europe. In his youth, he was heavily involved in political activism, the ultimate radical. But most importantly, he was the most humble person I've ever met. And he was the most loyal to his friends. To Mustafa, I say thank you. مصطفى حبيبي الله يرحمك ويحسن إليك كنت خير الأخ والصاحب والأب الحنون لن ننساك أبدا أبدا العزيز الحبيب مصطفى رحيلك عنا كان مفاجئا وصادما والخسارة لنا جميعا فقد كنت صديقا لأخي الأكبر سهل وعرفت عنك اندفاعك الوطني ودفاعك عن الكيان العربي وكانت من حظي من أجمل الصداقات المتجددة وزادها حلاوة 
التفاف عائلتك الجميلة من حولك وخاصة رفيقة عمرك فاتة الرحمة لروحك الجميلة والسلوان لعائلتك الحبيبة وإلى اللقاء يا مصطفى يا أبو سطيف أنا بحبك كتير تلساتك موجود حوالينا بعتبرك أبي اللي أنا فقدته 23 years ago كنت بعد معك بحسك عن جد أبي I love everything about you أنت الأب العظيم أنت الزوج العظيم أنت الصديق العظيم أنت بمكان أحسن من هون أنا متأكدة بس روحك الطيبة وقلبك الطيب أنت كلك حوالينا ونحس فيك لهلا مصطفى شخص لا ينسى من اللحظة اللي فتت فيها بيت مصطفى وفاتت قبل سنين وسنين عرفت أني أنا فايتة بعلاقة صداقة مميزة وما مرقت علي قبل ولا رح تمرق علي أبدا بيت كله فرح بيت كله بهجة بيت كله ضحك بيت كله عفوية وفهم وحكمة كان الشخص اللي بقدر ارفع الخط بأي لحظة واحكي معه وناقش معه أي موضوع مصطفى كلماتك ما رح ننساها وانت عايش بقلبنا عم مصطفى كان صديق الكل وأبو الكل وحبيب الكل ما في من شخصيته ولا في من طيبة قلبه وبيته دائما مليان فرح وسعادة رح نشتاق له كثير و دائما ببالنا مصطفى الذي كانت مودته كالكوثر العذب لا يختالها الكدر صافي السريرة محت الود لا ملق في لفظه لا ولا في قلبه وضر الله يرحمك I'm a Mustafa. From the moment I met you as a child, you brought magic to my life. I never really asked myself why I loved you so much, I just did. But now I know. It was the way you beheld, respected, and loved me, just as I was. So many of us bloomed under the light of your gaze. And this is how your gentle soul met the world, and how I will always love you. Uh, I don't think any words are going to be ever enough to describe my feelings for you. All my life, uh, the little girl, not to sound dramatic, I repeat this every time. You told me I was beautiful. You told me I could dream. You can t- told me the sky's the limit. All of these things over and over again. The summers in London were the best years of our lives. Uh, growing up, it was the only family unit that we had, really. And you opened up your heart, your home, your love, and treated us like your own. And that's a gift you gave to me, and I'm forever grateful for it. I love you so much. We were in a pub in Harefield back in the early 1990s when suddenly Khalil got up and realized he's late for a barbecue with the Kakutis. He persuaded us to take them there and join them. Just before we got in the house, he said, it will be fun. It was. It was also the start of a wonderful friendship. Fatin and Mustafa entered my life. They enriched me and they were a great support. As to Mustafa, he was the solid rock for all of us, support and kindness and understanding. تعجز الكلمات عن وصف رحيلك عنا جسدا على الأقل، لكن روحك الطيبة ودماثة أخلاقك وسعة معرفتك وخفة دمك ورجاحة عقلك كلها هذه ستبقى معنا وهي باقية معنا إلى أن نلتقي مجددا إلى اللقاء يا صديقي الظريف اللطيف مصطفى طبعا محمد رائد زي ما كان خاله مصطفى ينادي ما قدر يتحمل يشاركنا عاطفيا بهذا الفيديو أنا بالنسبة لي كعلا فقدت أب تاني بمعنى الكلمة أحلى إشي بخاله مصطفى إنه الواحد بس يتذكره بابتسم لأنه هو شخص بالفعل ترك ابتسامة وفرح بقلب كل حدا عرفه I'll never forget your advice or words Your legacy will basically be me following in your footsteps I love and miss you 40 يوم مضى على رحيل خالي الغالي العزيز مصطفى كركوتي عم حاول شوف كلمات توصف فيها هذا الرجل العزيز والغالي على قلبي بفترة وجيزة أشبه من المستحيل الرجل لا تعرف الكلمات وصفا له أجمع الجميع على محبتك وصفاتك الحميدة لن أقول إلا أنك تركت بصمة وأثر جميلا وفراغا كبيرا ودعني يا خالي الغالي لقد أدمعت قلوبنا قبل عيوننا أحبك أحبك وسأبقى أحبك نحن نشتقنا لك 
أصعب شي نتكلم عن شخص راح عنا بجسده بس روحه لساعته معنا ابتسامته المميزة ترك فينا مع كل شخص تعرف عليه أثر جميل الله يرحم روحك الغالية مصطفى was my dearest friend for so many years he was the first Arab man I'd ever befriended or who befriended me and I learned so much from you Mustafa wherever you are the joy of life that you and Faten had and you imparted to us in spite of all that you know your histories had put you through you never stopped living that was a lesson I'll never forget he and I used to meet for coffee because he was hungry to talk about politics I just miss that so much I wish he could explain to me Beirut today but he's gone and there's no one like him oh what do I remember when I had a stopover in Abu Dhabi he picked us up me and lots of other journalists who were stuck there drove us to town to their house and Faten fed us and and we laughed like we'd never laughed in our lives and one of the journalists an English woman said to me uh -huh, and I apologize for what she said but she did oh I didn't know Arab men could be funny but it's the fun the intelligence the perception the love the volume of love Mustafa gave me Colin our children his friends, his family, the whole world. Well, Mustafa and I first met more than 20 years ago on the set of Dateline London. And we quickly became friends and I relied on his judgment and his wisdom and his friendship. And then a few years later, he invited me to Dubai and Abu Dhabi to take part in a conference. And during that conference, he came to me and said, could I delay my flight by a day because Sheikh Nayan would like me to chair an extra session, including Sheikh Nayan himself. No, I said, Mustafa, there's absolutely no way I can do that. He persuaded me after I'd said, and anyway, how could we change our flights? He put his arm around me and said, Sheikh Nayan owns Etihad Airlines. And so, Mustafa, you managed to get me on a flight a day afterwards. And I managed to sit next to a woman who is now my wife. So I owe you more than I can say. And I miss you more than I can say too. Thank you, Mustafa, for everything you've done. Thank you. السيرة الحلوة اللي كل واحد عم يحكي ويحلف بحياتك ما بقدر لك إلا إلا اللقاء وداعا حبيب القلب أبو سطيف وأنا من حب إلك عبر الأربعين سنة من حب وصداقة وقوة لا مثيل لها بيتك كان بيتي فاتن الأمورة العزيزة الحبيب اللي خلقت لك بيت لا مثيل له انتوا التنين حبيتوا بعض وما زلتوا تحبوا بعض إشي مش طبيعي دام أرى حبا مثل ذلك حب عاطفي حب من جميع أنواعه وحب كل بحسه بما بيشعر معه شيء مش طبيعي وخلفت ثلاثة أولاد الله يحفظكم يا شيء مش طبيعي أنا lovely grandchild I shall miss you of course أبو سيف you've been part of my life we grew up politically and we work together you've been my soulmate we shared stories your house was full of joy and I want to say to you, adieu, adieu, adieu. Ila liqa.